If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that loyalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share this video. You dig what I'm saying? With the goddamn hair, yeah, Lee. Y'all, my mind is all over the place. First of all, this is 11.38 a.m. That damn Tay post Lou posted this video at 1 o'clock in the morning. I ain't gonna lie. I was waiting up to see the video. I wanted to see the video. But anyway, so we about to get into this video. Um... She telling her side of things. So, you know, y'all know me. I'm fair. I want to hear all sides. So let's uh let's figure out what sis got to say. I have not watched any of this. Let's get it. Firstly, I'd like to extend an apology to all of TTG for having to be here in this capacity. To all of TTG for all of the drama. Pardon me. To all of anybody even if you're not TTG if you were affected by the situation it is very unfortunate that I am here like this I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be here like this however I'm not going to drag on because I have a lot to say I apologize about all of this drama I am here because I have been my hand has been forced I am here to defend myself and to defend myself only um, I'm not here to do anything other <clears throat> than defend the narrative that has been put out uh, about me. Um, this is not my style. Um, I would have chosen not to have done this. Um, I was moving on quite lovely. Um, I thought things were good, but I guess that is not the case and that is fine because now I get an opportunity to tell my truth. Here we are. I'm not gonna hold you up because I have a lot to say and I do have receipts. And I think that word is so corny, receipts. I have receipts, I have receipts. But that's what y'all wanna call it. I have these receipts and I will be putting these in the end of this video. And the reason why I will be putting that at the end of this video is because in order for you guys to understand my receipts or even to understand what you guys saw that was posted of me, you must understand everything from the beginning. And one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna sit here and give you guys detail from detail to detail to detail of my six year relationship with this woman. I think I've given you guys enough of that, very much so. However, I can try to shed some light on the nature of our <clears throat> relationship, on the, on the nature of what it was, because it was completely what you guys didn't, it was not what you guys thought it was. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I went on a first date with Tay. The mm -hmm. first date was absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. We both really, really liked each other. Okay. After we separated from the date, she called me. I called her, whoever did what. We decided, hey, we want to see each other again. Okay. She invited me to come see her again. This time, it was at her house. The first place was at a restaurant. This time, it was at a house. It's this recording, just making sure. Perfect. Okay. It was at I'm going to be doing that a couple times. Too. So, of course, I came. I believe it was the very next day, but it could have been two days later. However, it was either one or two days later. I come to Tay's house, <clears throat> I enter her house, and when I tell you guys, I kid you not, I never left that house again without her. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying right now would make sense, just give me a moment. Okay. I moved in on the spot. Um, now, granted, when I came in right then, no, I wasn't coming in to move in. However, what happened was, I came in that night, I never left. <clears throat> We pretty much did the grown up for a month straight. For a month straight. We were completely obsessed with each other for a month straight. That's how it happens. Start off with sex with lesbians. And we get mad when people sexualize us, but I <laughs> We weren't eating, we weren't doing anything. I've said this before. Not on this, not on, eating on the Tan Lu YouTube channel. You guys know the drill. We were completely entwined with each other for a month straight. Not, not giving ourselves a chance to see each other or to get to know each other or anything like that. It was completely sexual and infatuation for a month straight. Finally, I look up a month later. I realize, okay, I'm kind of slacking. I may have looked up a little bit earlier than a month. 
But I realize I'm kind of slacking because you guys, I came to her with a job. I was an atmosphere model. So at that time, so my job was to go to clubs, make the club look fun. And my housing was secured. But remind you guys, I started staying with Tay. I never left. I literally never left. I came with the clothes on my back and the gifts that I bared for her, for her household. That's all I came with. So I finally was like, you know what? I need to go to work. I'm going to lose my housing. I know I'm liking you a lot, but I have to go to work. She expressed to me, I don't want you to leave. And I will not lie. I won't sit here and lie. I expressed to her, I don't want to leave. We did not want to separate. So what did I do? I brought her to work with me. Oh, come on, shit. slugger. Brought her to work with me. Not come on, Two slugger. Times. After the second time of her coming to work with me, she expressed to me, Lou, I don't want you working there no more. Oh, it's too late. There's a whole bunch of drama. And you're with here, here with me every day anyway. We might as well go get all of your stuff from Harlem and you just bring it in here. You're here every day every, anyway. You guys, she didn't have to convince me much. <clears throat> I wanted to be with her. I was blindly trusting her, blindly trusting that she was going to be a good person. Be a good person. That's what I was blindly trusting, that she could be a damn good person. I'm sorry. So I have to speak. Um, I've definitely been in Tay's shoes. Didn't want my girlfriend to leave or didn't want her to work at a certain job. Y'all know how I am. I pay all the bills anyway. That's just my role. That's how I was raised watching my dad anyway. Um, so, you know, I'm definitely that person. Um, and in the lesbian world, especially is very much so realistic. I cannot speak for the heterosexual world y'all. Cause I'm not heterosexual. I can only speak for what I do. And, um, that's absolutely a realistic thing. So, okay. <sighs> wow. What a shit show. Anyway, blindly trusting that this girl can be a good person. So I agreed to it. That was my fault. I should have given myself come on ownership respect. i should have gone back to my apartment listen all of this i've gone through already and it really irritates me that i gotta even anywho Make sure moved I'm in with her. her face the moment i moved I in am. with her completely and by this time all of the sexual activity had slowed down a little bit it was still going but it slowed down a little bit so now mm -hmm. we can see each other this is when i started to see who she really was so very soon she started to show her true colors to mm -hmm. me this is when the alienation started. This is when the control started. This is when the the pettiness started. This is when the temper showed. And this is when the fighting started. Uh -oh. Most importantly, this is when the fighting started, you guys. Like I told you, we started fighting, if I didn't say that already, we started fighting within a month of our relationship. Mm -hmm. Our first fight <clears throat> honestly set the tone for our relationship and after that first fight we were fighting if not every day every other day what and you guys this apartment for six shared years it with two of her exes i was there with two of her exes i found this out late however we were fighting these women bear witness to these fights a lot of people have what? oh fuck what i did not mean to do that okay y'all so we're gonna watch this up to 18 minutes okay uh be a good person so i agreed to it that was my fault i should have oh and by this time all of the sexual activity had slowed down so tay was already staying with two exes she did not tell you that in the beginning which would have pissed me off i would have flipped everything over okay um she was manipulative and controlling Okay. Down a little bit. It was still going, but it slowed down a little bit. So now we can see each other. This is when I started to see who she really was. So very soon she started to show her true colors to me. Okay. This is when the the pettiness started. This is when the temper showed. And okay. this, if I told you, we started fighting. If I didn't say that already, we started fighting with another. She said that. And you guys, this apartment, she shared it with two of her exes. I was there with two of her exes. I found this out late. However, we were fighting. These women bear witness to these fights. A lot of people have bear witness to our fights. However, we were living in this house. I apologize, you guys. Let what I want to do is I want to do a straight run through. I want to do a straight run through. However, y'all have to bear with me. I have not gone through these details in a very long time. And I have gotten over this stuff. However, it is very traumatic. However, we were fighting. We were fighting our asses off. 
pardon my language, within a month, with between the fighting, between the sexual activity. I ain't gonna lie. Tay wrong as hell. If she put out they them recent situations when they've been fighting since month two. I ain't gonna lie, she wrong as hell for that, making it seem like they just started fighting and they been fighting. Okay. Activity. The talks of YouTube started. That's crazy. Honestly, I'm gonna digress a little bit and I'm so sorry, but I wanna explain, I wanna specify the first fight. I do. So give me a moment. The first fight, what happened was Tay was asleep on her bed and she's gonna tell a totally different story, but it is what it is at this point, I guess, is who say whatever. Mm -hmm. She was laying on her bed sleep, and I was laying at the foot of her bed. At mm -hmm. this time, I did not have a phone. I was um, using my iPad. You guys, this is very traumatic for me. I have never gotten onto this internet and start crying. I have never gotten onto any of my platforms and just start crying. I'm a reactionary person, and I want y'all to know right now, if y'all ever see some tears from me, just pay them no mind. Mm -hmm. I was sitting at the edge of that girl bed, and she was asleep. And she was, she was sleep, sleep. I could tell she was in REM. However, I was depressed. I've been depressed a very long time about my, my situation with my daughter. And it is my right not to go down all of that with y'all. However, I was at the edge of her, of her bed and I was on my iPad and I was crying on the phone with my best friend at the time. I lost my best friend because of a situation with Tay. However, mm -hmm. the one I'm speaking about. However, and a decision I made as well. But let me not digress. I'm mm -hmm. sitting at the edge of that bed on the phone with my best friend at the time, crying to her, telling her how much I miss my daughter and mm -hmm. how much I need to do this and how much I need to do that, how much I miss her, I miss her, I miss her. Mm -hmm. And she starts turning. And when I say she, I mean Tay. And she's huffing a little bit and puffing. Mind you, she's still relatively new to me, so I'm thinking, okay, she's just tossing and turning. She proceeds to get up, tosses the cover off of her, and storms out the room. So I'm like, mind you, I'm mid cries. I'm deep in my cries. It was late at night. I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about my daughter. I didn't want to wake her up, so I called my best friend. I went to the edge of the bed and I called my best friend. I wasn't going to leave out the house. Why? Because her ex is down this way. Her her other ex is down this way. No, I'm going to stay in this room to which I'm allotted, the space to which I'm allotted. So mm -hmm. I sat at the edge of the bed. Mm -hmm. And she got up, tossed the covers off, and stormed out the room. So I saw that. I clearly knew she was bothered by something. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think that it was going to be that big of a deal. I was thinking, honestly, maybe she... I am so sorry, y'all. I was thinking maybe something else. Maybe the girl had a nightmare. <clears throat> her... Her using the space she was allotted makes a whole lot of sense. Tay should have known that that was the only space that she had. And being that, obviously, she did not have a car... She couldn't go down the hall to that ex or that other ex because obviously she don't like to um, overstep her boundaries. So she going to stay in one area. And Tay, you can't be mad at that. You wanted her to move in. So that's the space that she had to use. Okay. Or maybe she was going to come in there and tell me to lower my voice a little bit. Because you guys, I wasn't, ah, I wasn't, ah, crying or not like that. But it I was woke cleaning. her up. I was making noise I, and she it, it woke up. So those are the things that went through my head that could have possibly happened next. I ain't gonna lie, I get aggravated when I get waking up. I don't, don't wake me up. <laughs> what happened next? This Tay proceeds to walk back into her room. Her room, none of this is her room. Back into the room, storms up to me, snatches my iPad out of my hand and asks me, who am I talking to? Now, you guys. Excuse me, what? You couldn't ask me that before you got up and stormed out of the room? <clears throat> a reminder, I don't know this girl yet just too well. Also, maybe some new information or maybe a reminder. And don't snatch shit out my hand. I am not. How do I say this without sounding? You Listen, ain't. Everyone's you... from a different place. Everyone was raised differently. I was raised a certain way. And unfortunately, that was the act of aggression to me. It was. And I, no, not unfortunately. That was an act of aggression to me. It this was. girl comes and rushes up to me, snatches my iPad out my hand before she can act. I wouldn't have mind the 
who are you talking to question right but where she triggered me because right. yet again that's not the way i was raised you do not run up on me like that number one and then number two you will not take something that is mine right. out of my hand in a forceful manner that's just right. not what's going to happen that mm -hmm. will always put me on the alert that will always put me into a i will i will go right you should have asked should. me first i don't mind answering questions but what you won't do is aggress me first because I will finish it. Mm. And that is that. She mm. snatched me from out of my hand and asked me who I was talking to. I hopped up. I began to explain to her. She was new to me. She was new to me. I began to explain to her, like, listen, I'm crying about my daughter. Like, I'm, I'm crying about my daughter to my best friend. This girl proceeds to hang up my phone on my best friend, tosses it to the side. I run up on her. Because I'm trying to stop her from tossing the only daggone form of communication I have with my child, the only form of communication I have with anything, with my friends, my own, my lifeline. She was about to toss it. So I run up on her to get her to not toss my stuff, and the tussle begins, and then the swings begins, and then the fight commences. And it will always happen like that if you ever. I would have whooped Tay ass if she came and snatched my motherfucking iPad number one number two you snatch my ipad i'm talking to somebody probably one of the only people i could speak to about my situation that is delicate to me which is my child because obviously uh lou wasn't you know she was living a different lifestyle trying to create whatever she could for her child a lot of mothers do do that and um she i it seems to me she wanted to do better it seems to me she wanted to be better and um she was upset about the position she was in as far as that goes with her daughter. And you snatch my iPad that I bought, I would have hit her too. And I'm so sorry this is not me trying to be aggressive. Oh, I'm not saying nothing of the sort. All I'm saying to you is that that just doesn't, it's not going to go down like, like that. It with ain't. You. And it never will. It ain't. Ever. Ever. I understand sorry, that. Sorry, you guys. I got a little bit excited there and just just recanting this stuff it physically has a physical effect on me it has a I mental effect it. on me and it has an emotional effect on me and i'm sorry that once again i'm sorry that y'all even have to hear all of this but mm -hmm. i needed y'all to understand what the first fight was how the first fight started because mm -hmm. i was just about to go on all willy-nilly like oh no i don't need to say all that no i do need to say all that mm -hmm. i'm not about to do that so that's the details of the first fight so mm -hmm. we were talking about pretty much talks of youtube it's been us doing nothing but being intertwined with each other oh shit My God. literally being intertwined with each other still fighting talks of youtube come I gotta make the sure first my video camera's is dropped off. january 2017 16 it's, ju it's dropped in january do do the research please mm -hmm. look it up the entire time you guys we're pumping out this 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 content to y'all mind you still fighting that's still being crazy. mentally controlled still being mentally abused that's still fighting crazy. on top of that still trying to also live in these conditions and also i didn't get there yet i guess that's the next part still doing youtube mind you we're making money off of youtube at this point and mind you in my head this is a wee thing mm. we're making money off of youtube you guys behind the scenes i am not being paid i can't do anything by myself i am completely I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. Now, granted, mm -hmm. whenever she would eat, she would get me food, yes. Whenever she would do this, she would do this with me. You guys, however, it must be a lot of children who think that that would suffice a grown person. I need my own money, especially if I'm working for it. You guys, while we were pumping out those YouTube videos to you, mm -hmm. we lived in five different places. Mm -hmm. All the while, we're moving around to these five different places. These places weren't just places, you guys. The first three places that we moved into, they were her exes. Um, the first place that we spent the first beginning time of, of our relationship, mm -hmm. I moved in with her ex and another ex, pretty much two of her exes. Well, one of them, she just had whatever. You want. That's some Libra shit to do. And, you know, uh, if some of y'all in Libra, sorry, but I have had experience with Libras and they are fucking weird when it comes to shit like that. Man, I'm not staying with my ex. I'm not bringing my new girl in to stay with my ex either. <laughs> like, it's just weird to me. I call them two ladies that she dealt with. Did not know that initially, but once I found out, obviously, I was in the fray and I was rolling with the punches with her. Okay. Second place lived 
with her for real for real ex you guys have heard her talk about this young lady before this was um over a decade ex um and once again this ex didn't know who i was um she was um lied to about who i was and pretty much tay had us living in this ex's mother's apartment without her knowing who i was we did eventually meet we had to there was no more there was no more there was no hiding as we Messy were living in her mother's hell. apartment and tay was trying to hide that for a while and all the while like i already told y'all i was on my p's and q's every day i knew i was in a place that someone knew i wasn't they didn't know who I was. So I was ready every day to for anything to pop off. You guys, I'm in the middle of Brooklyn while all of this is going on. No. Mm. So with that being said, um, me and the ex, we finally met. And guys, you know what? All of these exes, I don't know what they have to say to me today. Um, I honestly, with everything going on at this point, anything related to her, I really don't care. However, I formed really close friendships with all of her exes. I formed very close friendships with everyone in her family. I cannot say the same for her and for my friends or any of my family, but anyway. Three places, first three places. Three exes. Two people she dealt with, an ex and a person she dealt with. Second person, her for real, for real ex. Third place, we just lived with her mother and her ex. So this was all the exes. You guys, I have no issue with any of this. I absolutely adored these women. These were really wonderful, beautiful women. I adored them all, and they all helped me in ways through dealing with Tay. And I'm not going to put any of that out there. However, all of them helped me. You and should. Thank Fuck you, so you mean you ain't putting it out there. I never understand that. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because after after I was exposed, child, I just took the I just took the fall for it all. But like, ooh, I don't know. This this picture tape painted is just fucked so much up. to all of y'all, and I wish I would have <clears throat> taken in more information. However, you guys, all of this time we are working. These last two places that we lived together, it was just me and Tay. Seeing as though it was just me and Tay, I would expect that you know our relationship would have gotten a little bit better or a little bit anything. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, the relationship didn't change. Our fighting didn't change. Nothing changed. If anything, it got worse. You guys, I never had a key to any residence that I resided in with her. And by the What? So you wasn't making no money. You didn't have no key. You staying with a whole bunch of exes. My question to motherfucking Lou is why the hell you didn't leave, friend? And it's probably because... Of that financial situation, she had already messed up her place to stay. Now, I'm not about to act like my shit don't stink as if, you know, I didn't move out here, get kicked out, have to move in with TT and her sister, and before that got evicted in my last part. No, 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 we're not going to act like my shit clean over here. And this is why I love reacting to these types of things, because I can tell y'all how much my shit stunk as well. And I like to talk about that because I've overcame so much, right? At some point, you got to change. This is elevation time for her. You know what I'm saying? So she went through a situation where uh, she had her housing together and she was working and it seemed like the situation was working for her, but then ended up moving in with Tay, uh, hoping that I, I feel like the situation would get better and it didn't. Um, she just became a damn control freak. Mind you, they was making great money. Them views was hitting, hitting. Okay. So even if she wasn't editing all the videos, even if she wasn't making the thumbnails, she was in the video. So I am responsible to take care of you because a, if I'm, I am a person, if I'm doing all the work, then I'm not, but you, we not splitting this shit in half. You got to do the work to, to, to go half. However, comma as well. If they come in there to see us and we're making thousands of dollars. Oh no, you going to have a check. <laughs> fuck that it don't matter at this point i get somebody else to edit the videos okay so me and you just showing up because that's me all day i have somebody else edit the videos i will get thumbnails done from somebody else that means we're just showing up now we can go half you know what i'm saying but if i'm putting in the work y'all don't understand the type of work you put in when you doing these videos this shit is work okay i just got up I got to get to this. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be at this all day long. You know what I'm saying? This shit is work. So if 
we make it thousands of dollars like that. Yeah, I'm getting somebody to edit our videos. I'm going to make sure we have thumbnails. And we ain't going to be doing nothing, but we can split that bag in half. Absolutely. By the time we lived at these last two residences, we were making a lot of money from mm -hmm. Tanloo. I completely understand not having a key to these three because, let's be honest, in this house, we weren't making much Tanloo money. In this house, we weren't making much Tanloo money. I was not a woman expecting her to give me all her money because Tay didn't quit her job off the break. She was supporting us. She was... Um, buying the only thing i needed was food because you guys i'm not a complicated woman so she was going to work and she was feeding me every day and she housed me however that's what everything was set up to do yeah my apologies you guys i meant set up to be that was the way it was set up to be um she had me quit my job she would not want me to get a job she wanted me to stay in the house to cook to clean um according to her i didn't do that too well however yeah that's what i meant that's the way it was set up to be okay. in the beginning. I would never expect anyone to just give me all their money. No, I'm meaning give me my money once we started making the Tay and Lou money, not when she was working her job. So okay. with that being said, I thought things were going to change. I thought so our relationship gonna go was going to get better. Point. I thought the fighting okay. was going to stop. I thought her temper was going to subside. I thought the controlling behavior was going to change. I thought all of that was going to change, but none of it changed. And you guys, the entire time, I never had a key to any of these residences. Now, obviously, I did not expect a key to these first three. No. And let's also be transparent. Um, these first one, we weren't really making Tanloo money just yet. The second one, we weren't really making Tanloo money just yet. We were starting to make Tanloo money when we lived in the last house with her ex and her ex's mother. However, I didn't need a key to that stuff. I know my place. I know how to play my role. I would not open my mouth and say, oh, I need a key here too. No, I went to that room and that room was my spot. That's what I what I did, okay? But those last two places, I just knew I'd had a key. It's Larry's season, y'all. So uh, Larry's our gnats, child. They be in the way. Uh, anyway, listen, y'all. So this video, um, how many minutes are we at right now? We are at 26 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and end this and go ahead and go to the next video. Voice did already tell me that it gets black at some point. And, um, you know, I got to go ahead and go to the next video so we can get all this together. But anyway, uh, I want to say that um, it sounds to me that Tay was very much so manipulative. Um, just like with the videos, y'all kept saying trying to control the narrative basically i still disagree with the crock pot however if she's walking up snatching phones and antagonizing and shit like that well no you had the right to get your ass beat be, or or get hit with something because ultimately like you can't walk up to somebody a grown-ass person and snatch anything out their hand i don't play them games with women you'll fuck around and get killed by a bitch you keep playing with her you know what i'm saying so that's why uh she was at that point because it's been six years of just straight up fighting that is absolutely crazy okay now i'm not gonna act like i haven't been in a relationship fighting we fought the first, first couple years but girl after that i was done with fighting you know what i'm saying i don't want to fight at all i don't have time for that shit especially if i love you that's just crazy so the fighting for them to fight for that long and i know some of y'all like bitch i've been fighting my nigga for 10 years that's a lot <laughs> you know what I'm saying? that's a lot i don't want that you know and i'm i'm sure obviously she didn't want that but she wanted something to stay there now you're not getting no money you don't have no key you don't have no control at all of this situation and for some reason you stay no you're taking all the l's you know what I'm saying? So I would like to know why the hell she decided to stay in that. A lot of people do stay because of money. But if you ain't making none of the money, then that don't make sense, friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't understand that. But uh, we gonna see. Uh, we gonna end this video. It's at 30 minutes. Anyway, one more one in the chat. Love y'all so much. Uh, see you in part two. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost hit uh, stop recording. All right, y'all. Oh, God, it's too early in the morning. <laughs>